Hello friends, I am Sneesh from Team Must and in this video I will tell you about a specific question which is generally the most probable question of all exams whether you are appearing for any CAT exam or any MAC exam or any, any UPSC exam or any placement exam or any exam uh, this question is generally the most probable one of finding the number of total number of squares from a given rectangle or a given square so we're gonna discuss about the approach of getting the proper solution out of it so let's start with it um, let's see with an example so suppose there is a square of 5 cross 5 let me 1 2 3 4 1 2 so suppose this is a square of unit 5 cross 5 and uh, assume that each and every this, uh, each and every block in this are also squares <laughs> possibly it in, uh, isn't seeming though but just assume it these all are squares so our basic instinct would be such that if we are asked to calculate the total number of squares within this figure what we will do is just see the one, uh, one, two, three, four, five and one, two, three, four, five so we'll write down our answer like five cross five plus we'll see the largest square out of it the outer square and we'll add one so our answer would just be 26 this is our approach at first instinct but generally uh, not generally this is not the correct solution this isn't the correct solution because we have left so many squares so I'm gonna show you the approach which you all should follow to get the proper solution out of it so let me erase this thing mm. now I'll just tell you out which scales you just missed them while calculating the total number of squares so starting with the this one uh, one two three four five one two three four five so this were the number of squares we all just calculate but now this is the second one 2 cross t uh, 2 cross 2 of squares of unit 2 cross 2 we generally miss them out this again this again and this again 1 2 3 4 and similarly we're coming row column wise 1 2 3 and 4 so we usually miss them out 4 cross 4 again uh, squares of unit 3 cross 3 1 2 3 these were row wise and similarly sing column wise 1 and 3 again these needed to need to be added now the squares with units 4 cross 4 that is 4 4 and similarly Row uh, column wise one two. So their count come out, uh, out to be two cross two, and finally the last square, the largest of them. So plus one, which can also be written as one cross one. So our answer comes out to be fifty five, rather than the answer to be 26 so this is the only approach which we need to follow uh, let me show you a thing uh, one thing to analyze is that as our square was of unit 5 cross 5 so this started with 5 and drastically decreased up to 1 so this is the one thing you should analyze out of it now let's take another example uh, this time with a rectangle uh, of unit 7 cross 4 
now again what uh, you have to find the total number of squares within this given rectangle so starting uh, row wise and starting with the row wise and column wise approach that is uh, first with one cross one unit squares that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 similarly column wise 1 2 3 4 so count, uh, count comes out to be 7 cross 4 plus now the squares with the uh, with the unit 2 cross 2 uh, which would be 1 2 3 4 5 and finally 6 coming to column wise 1 2 3 so count comes out to be 6 cross 3 plus now the scares with the units 3 cross 3 1 2 3 4 and 5 these were row wise now uh, similarly column wise 1 and 2 so the count comes out to 5 cross 2 similarly the squares with units 4 cross 4 would be 1 2 3 and 4 and when we'll be seeing it column wise there single square so the count comes out to be 4 cross 1 so the total comes out to be 60 again while seeing when while analyzing this you just notice that as a rectangle was of the unit 7 cross 4 so it started with 7 and then decrease up to 4 so this is the only approach whether it be any figure you can find the number of squares very easily and very accurately hope you like the video do subscribe to our channel team must as there are lot more videos coming out till then be must and keep rocking thank you guys see you in the next video soon